everyone. I'm back in the shop today doing a, another video of my test work fall. This is actually the test work fall I built last week. Right now we're in the stage of building a bigger one that takes a bigger secondary and a bigger toroid. That is the original one that was on it when I first built. But I haven't got the boards in for the more stronger IGBT, so I just said, well, I will try this. It's, see how good it works. Actually, it works real good with the bigger secondary toroid. I had some people ask me, you know, what the arc lengths were for it, so it's about 25 inches between the two, and unfortunately I'm having to use a breakout point, and this thing does not use breakout points, but I'm going to have to do it for the demonstration, because I may go five minutes before it ever makes a circle and hits the ball. Uh, it, uh, it does about 27 inches without the breakout point, uh, with the breakout point, uh, I think I got it set at about 25. In fact, I got hit in the head with it the other day at about three feet, and it hurts like the dick is. But as soon as this part of this demonstration is over with right here, which ain't going to last very long, I want to show everybody something else. That is my original toroid and secondary that was on this before I built this one, which is actually going to be on the more powerful test of Paul. So uh, let me turn the lights out, turn it on, and uh, we'll do it quick real fast like then I want to show something else. This particular coil does not use a breakout pole, so it's harder to make it do it. something else which was very strange a minute ago it happened to me when I was in here doing this earlier doing this I leaned up against my other toroid over there when I was running it and I got shot real bad like and really uh, strange I thought about it so I said well you know I've been doing a, a lot of studying into what they call sec exciters which is transferring energy wirelessly and everything and I, I don't believe in free energy or none of that but don't I'm not going to go there, but anyway, 
So I went and took this thing here, and uh, all I got hooked to it is a ground wire to the bottom of it. Now, I'm going to plug the ground in. We're going to do this again. Now watch both toroids, and there's nothing hooked to that other one but ground. right separated for both of them to work at the same time. The small one's feeding off the energy of the bigger one. To give you a better idea of that, I'm going to put a light bulb up here and just smaller secondary that was originally on this coil is connected nothing but ground. Earth ground. enjoyed the video post any comments good bad uh, people may have thoughts or ideas about this and that's fine I appreciate it very much